Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this really beautiful, soft, ethereal, romantic look. Um, you guys will hear this in my video, but we're doing a little mini photo shoot at home today. Um, it's a day before my daughter arrives, so I wanted to just take some final pictures. And this is a look I came up with. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then let's go. So today I'm going to use Divine Rose by um, Pat McGrath. You guys, I have one of these for you to give away. So in this video, let me know about a purchase that you are very excited about or something that you've recently um, bought that you've really loved. Um, it could be anything. So just leave a comment down below and then you will be entered to win this palette. Um, I've Again, I told you guys I was going to do a giveaway, um, a few giveaways to celebrate my daughter. So this will be your second chance at, at winning something. Um, I'm going to start off by taking this shade here. And then just running that through the crease. I'm going to keep my makeup pretty simple today because I just really want the focal point to be everything but the makeup. I'm actually going to use this all over my lid. Um, I also have a haul that I need to film. Um, I did some shopping at the Sephora Labor Day sale and then also Pat McGrath. So I think I'm going to take this shade here. It's like a yellow gold and it reflects pink. So I'm going to take that with my finger and then just pop it in the center. I'm going to go back into that purpley shade and just press along the inner and outer corner. I'm going to take my Natasha Denona Barbarella Brown Liner and I'm going to go ahead and just do like a light wing, but I'm going to do that off camera. We'll come back and we'll finish the rest of the look. Alright guys, so I'm going to go in with the dark brown in this palette here. And if I recall correctly, it's more of a dark brown purpley shade. And I'm going to use this just to smudge the liner. If I still can, because once that liner sets it's kind of hard to get it to move i'm going to take some more of that liner and just go over the liner just where it's close to my lashes i really love this refer 29 brush to use to do my liner with this it gives me such precision and um and just like a really clean line okay we're going to leave the liner alone. So I'm going to just do a layer of this mascara. Or I'm sorry, primer. This is my um, Dior primer. So I started nesting pretty early on with this pregnancy. And, um, and then I would just, I've gotten so tired that it, it's hard to keep up with my nesting and I have these spurts where I would just start um, you know I pick up where I, I leave off basically <laughs> and it's just kind of been crazy because it's very much up and down it's like whatever I can get to and sometimes I leave projects incomplete because I just I'm so tired at this point, like I'm feeling the pressure, like it needs to get done. And I know it's going to get done because I can just feel it. I'm gonna use this MAC Waterproof Mascara. For those of you who can't wear or need to wear waterproof mascara, a little trick is if you use a primer underneath it, it's easier to get the mascara off. So like whenever I've done a beach day or if I'm not going to wear a ton of makeup, but maybe I'll be in the water or something like that, like I've been using this, which is why I have it. And I discovered that using my primer underneath it really makes it easy to remove. I'm gonna let this dry, build it up to where I want it. All right guys, so while that dries a little bit, I'm going to take 
this shade here which reflects a little bit of a pinky shade and I'm using a refer 21 brush wet and I'm just going to pop that into the center of that gold just to add a little bit more of that pinky opalescent finish again I'm not really sure where I'm going with this look but we're just gonna roll with it I'm gonna go back into that mauve shade and then blend these little edges I'm gonna take some more of that first shade which is a gold pinky shade and I'm going to just kind of pop this around the outer portion of the halo and I'm gonna use the tip of this brush just to kind of add that shade to this inner crease here or like the, the actual fold I'm gonna take another 21 brush this one's clean and I'm gonna take this bottom shade here and then pop that right at the arch of my brow and then bring it back and I think I'm gonna use that also as the inner corner highlight so I'm gonna use it wet I'm going to take my extended play Gigi black lash mascara and apply that to the lower lashes I'm not going to be applying any shadow on the lower lashes because especially with that palette I find that it makes me look kind of sickly so I'm just going to keep it very clean and bright for my bronzer I'm going to be using my Patrick Ta bronzing dual set and I'm just taking the powder and adding some definition and warmth to my face. I've actually given this a break. I was using it a ton. You guys can even see that the um, part that was lifted with his initials is flat so I forgot I had purchased this lime crime it's a lip topper but I'm gonna use it on my eyes this I bought at Marshall's I think it was like four five ninety nine um, and I think it, it's going to give me a little bit of like that pinky shift a little bit more of that like shift I was looking for all right guys so I went ahead and I added that lip topper and this is Perfect. I love the way that it looks. Um, it just gives you like an ethereal um, look. I really like it. I'm going to take Nude Venus by Pat McGrath. For my lip, I'm going to take Anywhere Caffeine by Makeup Forever. I'm going to blend the edges out just a little bit. I'm going to take Fenty Heat. Actually, it's filling the lip a little. We're going to take a little bit of this Fenty setting spray. So I lined my lips with Anywhere Caffeine. I'm going to take Fussy. Alright guys, here is the final look. Nails and all. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your recent favorite purchase has been also please be sure to follow me on Instagram thank you guys so much for everything I'll talk to you soon bye